In the last video tutorial I made, I looked at using textures with an image and at the end of that video I tacked on a bit about where to find textures on the internet that were free to use. Now part of that um, look at where to find textures, I came across this RGB stock site and if you just clicked on textures it would go to various textures that you could use and that's as far as I went with that particular video but what I didn't show you is when I scrolled down I saw this jigsaw texture here and you could, I thought this would be quite interesting for a future tutorial about how to get the image onto this jigsaw texture. Now you do need to register to download this file but I will add a link to this particular page in the description for the video so if you click on this it will ask for a username and password and so that's why you need to register to be able to download it so that is where you can get the image and this is the image opened up in Affinity Photo now first of all I thought you could just put a your image over the top of it and change the blending mode but it didn't really work that well so I then sort of looked into how I would do it um, two examples I've done in my practice um, attempts this one here and the second one is this one here and this one does demonstrate sort of where you place this jigsaw texture because you've got to be aware of one what is going to be in the piece that's on the top and two what you're going to lose from the image behind either from the hole or from the piece that's on the top so that is something to be aware of when you choose your picture I'm going to try it on this image of mine of where I live and so the first thing I'm going to do is like once you've opened up your jigsaw image and the image you want to place it onto I'm going to come to this image here which is my base image and I'm going to duplicate that so I'm going to come to the layer that's highlighted here and I'm going to right click and come down to duplicate or you can use Control and J or Command and K J on a Mac but I'll just click on that to duplicate it but then I'm going to hide this, this will be for later so I'm going to take the tick away from it and I'm going to make sure that the bottom layer is now highlighted then I'm going to come to my jigsaw layer I'm going to right click the highlighted layer and come to copy or you can do control and C or command and C then come back to my base layer image just making sure that that is the layer that is highlighted and now I'll come up to edit and paste control V command V right now this as you can see, this particular jigsaw image is smaller than the image that I'm putting on, and that would probably be the case in, for most people. I'm guessing you could alter the size with the uh, move tool, but it may distort it too much and what have you, so I'm going to leave it as it is. But I do need to be on the move tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the opacity of this down to about 40%. 35-40% something like that so I can see the image underneath so now I can work out where I want to place this and like I said before previously you want to be aware of the area that is going to be missing plus what is going to be on the bit that is on the top so I'm going to place this roughly down here so I'm going to have a bit of the blue sky and a bit of the sea in this area of the wall so hopefully that will stand out quite well on that area of the wall so I'm happy where that is so I'll now bring the opacity back up to 100% 
So now I want to get the selection brush, which is this tool up here. Um, you can just press W on the keyboard to get that. Make sure it is on add. And I'm just going to click inside this area here. And as it's all one color, it should select it all in one hit sort of thing. Right, what we're going to do now, I'm going to hide this jigsaw layer. So I'll just do that and highlight the background layer. And now I'm just going to duplicate, but I'm just going to do this by the keyboard and press Control and J. So if I hide the background layer, that layer now just has that bit on it. So I'll bring that back now, but I need to remove that to demonstrate to you what the duplicating is only duplicating the area that was selected. So now that I have made my selection, I can now press Control and D to lose that selection area. And now I can bring back the jigsaw layer. So I'll highlight it and then put a tick into that area there. Right, next I want to do is to come up to the top layer, which is the duplication of the bottom layer and unhide that and we're going to change the blend options rather than the blend mode for this particular layer and to do that you need to click on this little um, cog icon that is up here next to the padlock it's rather than blend options it's blend ranges sorry I got the name wrong and it will open up the blend options. Um, so on the left we have source layer ranges and the on the right the underlying composition ranges. Now I am going to make alterations to both. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and highlight on this left node here and then in the bottom down here I'm going to make this 94 and I'm going to leave the other one at 100 so that node is now right the way over here on the right and then on the underlying composition side what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a node in the middle so I'm just going to click about there so I've now got three nodes now I'm going to click on the left node and I'm going to make leave the in option at zero and I'm going to make the out option zero which will put this right down the bottom the middle one which I've added I'm going to make the well, it's roughly, so roughly on 50 anyway, so I'll leave that on 50. And I'm going to make the out option roughly again 50, but I'll make it 49. And then this, click on the right node, and I'm going to make the in option 50. And the bottom out option I'm going to make that 92 so that gives you this weird um, shape on the underlying composition range so I can now close that so as you can see we can roughly see the jigsaw just showing through so that is what, what I'm after here so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to click on the jigsaw layer and I'm going to duplicate that and then I'm going to click and drag this to the top of the layer stack and I'm going to change the blend mode 
from normal to multiply. So this will give me the better outline for the jigsaws and not lose the quality of the image that is underneath, which is what I found happened when I just used blend modes. What I want to do next is click and highlight on the single jigsaw piece that we made earlier by the selection and again click and drag this to the top of the layer stack. Now we're going to use the move tool and it might be easier to zoom in on this one because we're now going to move this piece to sit over the piece that it is representing so we're going to click and move this over and you've got a little handle up here if you put the cursor near the top it will change to a double ended arched arrow and you can click and rotate this. Now this is the fiddliest part of this. Let me zoom in a little bit more so I can see the outline better. Right. Now when you get it roughly where you want it, you can use the arrow keys just to nudge the piece just a little bit as you need to. Let me just right, I think Right, I think we're almost there. I'll just come down a little no, up a little bit. Right, that should be good enough, I think. So I'll zoom out again. So that piece is now where it should be on this image. And what I'm going to do now is to add a few effects to this. Now I'm going to just click on the FX icon, FX here, and that will open up the layer effects. First thing I'm going to do is just to add an outline. So I'm going to put a tick in next to outline, click on the word outline to get the options. I'm going to leave the color black and I'm just going to alter the radius up to about 0 0.9 like that then I'm going to put a tick into 3D click on the word 3D to get the options and I'm not going to alter any of these apart from the, well the radius is already on 5 pixels I think it's just m remembered where I placed it before so radius on 5 pixels um, next I'm going to add a little outer shadow so put a tick in outer shadow click on the word to get the options so I'm going to do a radius of 12 an offset of 9.5 and an intensity of 80 and opacity I'm going to leave on 50% and the angle I'm going to leave on 315 so then I can close that let me come off the move tool so you don't have that blue box around it so hopefully that will now make this piece stand out a bit better on the image that behind without making it look too out of place so what I will do though is I'm going to just add a levels adjustment so I'll, I'll come down to the adjustments icon and this may now be a bit brighter than the image behind so I'm just going to sort of tone down the brightness of this so I'm just going to 
move the gamma slider slightly and try and get it look closer to the now the one thing I've got to do here at the moment I am adjusting the whole image which I don't want so what I need to do is to click and drag this down so it is inside this layer and what will happen is we get a blue line that comes across here but it only goes as far as the icon if it goes further than the icon you've gone too far so I'm going to click and drag this down and there we go so that is now only affecting this piece not the whole um, image so let me continue to right I think that is now closer to the area that I'm supposedly taking this piece from so I've had to on this particular image I've moved it to 1.5 and a bit your particular image may be different so I will now close that air down and technically you know this would be virtually the end of the tutorial um, the only thing here is you know the jigsaw because it goes over the edges or you know there's obviously extra pieces here which we don't have I'm going to need to crop this so this fits the jigsaw image that we are working with down to there that to there and that up to there you just double click in there so there you have your jigsaw and that would be the end of the tutorial so you can save this under a new name now if you want to take this slightly further and you want to have a texture in this area here what I'm going to do next is I'll just highlight that top layer right click and come down to merge visible and this will give me a layer that has everything on it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy that particular layer so I'll right click that to come to copy and come to whatever texture you want so I'm going to use this wooden texture here and just edit and paste so come to my move tool place it somewhere in the middle like that and much like before we will use the selection brush tool to select that area and on head right there we go it's now selected that area so you can just press the delete key and I th pretty certain there is a delete option somewhere in here I can't remember where it is now there we go delete Who we got although this might delete the whole layer no nope. so it's on the layer option down to delete or oh, it's just as easy to press the delete key so once you've deleted the area that you want you can press Control and D to get rid of that selection area and again you may want to crop this down so the jigsaw pieces that are obviously missing and going the, over the edges is not so obvious like so and there you have it that is the end of the tutorial so thank you for watching and goodbye